weekend. Well, yeah, we got one or two uh, knocks and niggles, so we won't know until I don't think we'll know up, up until kickoff who um, will actually be uh, be fit. And, you know, obviously, seven, eight of the players will be fine, but there's three or four doubtful ones, so we're going to have to wait until that that period. Can you tell us who's down? Well, with Saido, Brownie, um, obviously Victor's still struggling a bit. Um, Callum's struggling. Um, so we've got a few, yeah, we've got a few that we're struggling with. Is Callum's injury different from his previous injury? No, he's got kicked on it. it, it on the two occasions that he's come off the bench, um, he's got caught on the bottom of his foot. On two it's, it's unbelievable how unlucky he's been. Um, and, you know, it's just flared up again. So we're going to have to most probably close him down. For at least two or three weeks. And uh, in terms of the Stoke game, obviously facing your former club, a lot of people spoken about it, written about it. I mean, how how does it change your approach to the game? Does it affect you at all? No, I did, it, obviously, you know, but I had um, wonderful time at Stoke. It, it was absolutely fantastic, and you know, there's still a lot of the players playing there that you know I know and brought into the club. So, um, you know, that, I had that first experience last year at Palace, and and it was very good. The supports were absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Is there mixed emotions when you when you? Face well, I think it, mixed emotions in respect of the ties that I've got with the city, and mixed emotions in respect of you know I've, all the tickets I'm giving out are to Stoke supporters, not to West Brom supporters. So you know it's it's you know I had ten years there, so there's obviously you know strong ties. And added edge at all? Now oh, three points. You know that that's what we're you know we're desperate to get three points. Um, and you know that's what we want more than anything else. In terms of just the reaction from the FA Cup, the incident after the game, um, the FA have asked both clubs for observations this week. Um, can you elaborate at all? Yeah, that's ongoing, and and that's something that obviously I I'm not involved in. That'll be um, you know down to uh, you know the powers to be above me. Um, you know they're sorting all of that out, um, and we'll see where that takes us. But at the moment, you know there's, I don't think there's any comment. <coughs> From ourselves or the FA. Can you clarify the reports about Callum McManaman whether he was struck or not? I I I've, I don't know any any of it. Like I say, right from you know when the game finished, that that has been in you know obviously um, the club and the FA's hands, and uh, you know the suits are sorting out. I'm just getting on with the training on the training pitch. But just in terms of your your feelings after the game, you were you were quite strong on if any fans, if your fans were. Pulling up seats. Oh, I, 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 you know, I think that you know that there's a you want you want derbies to be passionate. You want them to be committed. Um, but you know, there, there's there's certain levels and rules that we should all stay and work within. And um, you know, if people have broken those rules, then they should be punished and, and punished properly. Because you can have a situation that we've had before. Um, you know, 20, 30 years back, where you know, where, you know, this it's just chaos. You know we've um, we've moved on as a country from that, and uh, we just got to make sure we don't uh, you know we don't allow it to come back in. Do you still think lifetime bans is the way to go? That will be down to the club. That will be decided by the club. Okay, and just on um, Berhino, um linked with Manchester United this week. Yeah, he went to a game, didn't he? Went and watched Manchester yeah. United play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, brilliant. Uh, you know, like I say, uh, uh, you know, in the transfer window there wasn't one phone call we had for Seidel. Seidel's been brilliant, his, his attitude, first class, you know, he's in my room again yesterday having a cup of tea with me and, you know, he's, he's been first, first class and he's really got his head, head in gear, concentrating on what he should concentrate on, that's his football and, um, you know, there's always going to be speculation, he's got eight, what is it, 18 goals this season um, for a 21-year-old, that, that's a wonderful, wonderful return. So um, yeah, he's got he's got lots of talent, but the most important thing for him to do is keep producing that talent, and um, you know then, you know we'll see what happens from there. Could it be hard to keep him at the end of the season? Let, you know we we got ten games left. Come and see me after the end of the season. I'll tell you how hard it's going to be. Okay, can I just ask you uh, one more on Stoke. Um, just what you made of Mark Hughes' job? They're going for another uh, for a top yeah. Finish. You know the the club. I think you know the, the 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 great thing for me about the football club is that you know you leave a football club and you leave it in the condition that you know it it can grow and get better and get better. And if you look at the players um, who who were still there, you know the backbone of that football club, you know Glenn Whelan, you know Shawcross, Begovic, Whelan, 
and Zonzi, Crouch, Walters, and uh, they're just a few to mention that are just, you know, Wilson, Cam uh, Jeff Cameron, people like that who worked with us. They're wonderful people, wonderful professionals. And um, it's really nice when you take over a club of all good professionals like that. And finally, my question of the day. Oh my <laughs> goodness, I thought that was your question of the day. <laughs> no, just one we're asking everyone today, Tony, it's, um, uh, could you just get your reaction to Chelsea's exit in terms of, it now means only Arsenal and City are left in the Champions League, both suffered first leg defeats. And it, it, can we read anything into Chelsea's exit in terms of where English football is in, in the European um, scheme of things? Well, it was, it, was, it was one game, I, you know, to be honest, I watched the game last night and I thought Paris Saint-Germain were, were good and they deserved their victory. Uh, to write Chelsea off or to write English clubs off after one game is, I, th I think, especially Chelsea, who, who have been outstanding this year. They had a bad night, and they had a poor night, and you know that that's unfo unfortunately it was the wrong time to do it. And um, you know, he, he, he obviously Jose will be uh, very very disappointed. The players will be disappointed, and the club will be disappointed. But you know, I'm sure they'll bounce back. Tony, uh, the, uh, you were nominated for the Manager of the Month award for February. We should know the results of that pretty soon. If if you and the club were to win it, uh, what would it mean to you? Yeah, it, it means that we we you know have a very very good February. So you know that the the important thing is now is to have a, you know a good finish. The last ten games of the season are, 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 are always tough. The running is tough for us. So we have to pick points up. And we have to pick points up quickly, and you know. We know how tough it's going to be. You know, we're light in certain areas. We need to be stronger. We're not stronger, and we can get stronger. So we have to get through this period and, and pick up as many points as we possibly can. Are you pleased with? I mean, obviously, as a month, if things go well for West Brom this season, I mean, it couldn't really have gone much better in February, could it? No, it's been. It's been you know, we, we you know we lost the game against Aston Villa with 30 seconds to go, and um, you know we played ever so well second half, and it, it you know that that was a mistake, and you can legislate for that. And in the cup, you know, we, we, we get a player sent off that shouldn't have been sent off. We still had 15, 16 minutes to go. And just before that player was sent off, you know, Jolien's missed a, a, you know, a, a golden opportunity to draw us level. They're the thin lines. Um, the players have been fantastic. You know, they, they've really bought into what we're trying to do. And, you know, it's the first time this club has got to a quarter final of an FA Cup for eight years. So, you know, we, we've got to put all that, you know, that's all the positives. You know, it didn't drop for us. You have to take it on the chin and move on, and that you know that will be my theme all the way through now till the end of the season. Every game we play, win, lose or draw, it'll be the next game. It'll be the most important game, and that's the way you have to do it. And finally, for me, I know you're going to be asked probably a few more questions about Stoke, but I'm going to put you on the spot. If there's one player that kind of gave you the most satisfaction that you signed there, or I mean, I guess it's no, impossible, it's, isn't it's, it? It's, it's you know, I had ten years. You know, you know, people forget about the you know the the, the first period when I was there, where Adi Akinboy scored the goal that kept the club in the you know the championship. If Adi don't score that goal, um, I think it was was it Greenacres cross, Spinksy. Green Acre crosses it, Addy scores, we win one nil, we stay in the championship. If we'd have lost that game, you know, oh, goodness knows where that club would have you know go and drop down to the third division again. I'm not so sure the you know that the Icelandic people would have um, stuck with me or stuck with the club. So, you know, that you know, the, the, if you pick in a moment, you know, you start there, that's at the beginning, and then you go all the way through, year after year after year, getting promotion, staying in the premiership with you know, with um, all the odds stacked against you. Going to Europe, going to an FA Cup final, four other major quarter-finals, semi-final. Yeah, it's good times. Thank you. Sorry, just, sorry uh, do you still feel fondly then about Stoke? You didn't yeah, very much so. You know, I'm, I've got no bad feelings at all about, you know, it, it, it was wonderful there. Had a great time. The family, you know, the Coates family, Peter, you know, John and Denise, are just wonderful, wonderful people. and and. You know, it, it was a pleasure being there and, and working and, and being given the opportunity they gave me, you know, to, to you know, to put the club where it is now. Really. You know, they they they've been I keep saying that they should make a statue for Peter and, and put it up right in front of that main entrance. Tony, um, you obviously know lots of the players at Stoke having worked with them. Does that make it easy for you to prepare for this game? No, it's it's not easy whether you know them or don't, you know, it's always difficult preparing. And they've been on a good run, you know, since they lost the cup tie. They've they've had a, a good run of games, so they, they you know the confidence will be high. So we know it will be a tough tough game, and 
uh, we haven't got a great record against them. Um, so yeah, it's tough. You talk about their great win, they're looking for their fourth win and they haven't actually done that and they haven't had four wins under Mark Hughes the last time so it did that was in 2011 when you were at the helm so like you said it's going to be a difficult game against them isn't it? Yeah, no, it'll be a tough game. You know, we, we, we've got tremendous respect um, for, or I've got tre tremendous respect for, for the players who were there um, and the club itself and, and the people who run the football club. So, you know, that'll always be the case. That'll never change. Just one question. Peter Crouch, you've been in incredible form. He's looking to beat uh, Shearer's record of headed goals in the Premier League. He'll be looking again to get that against you on Saturday. Well, I hope he gets it, but I hope he doesn't get it Saturday.